Hi, I'm Dr. Kit Weathers, and it's time for the Root Tip of the Week. But before we get started, let's reach into the top hat for the Magic Illusion of the Week. Well, today's Root Tip of the Week is going to take us through a paradigm shift. And since a paradigm in Las Vegas is 20 cents, I thought it might be appropriate to show you how we can make two dimes out of one. If you take a single dime, throw it in your hand, and say the magic word, it changes into two dimes. To learn the secret to this and other magic tricks in this series, go to endorootcamp.com. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this week's magic trick. Right now, root tip of the week. Working length can accurately be measured with a two-dimensional radiograph. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. If you take a look at this x-ray, you'll see that the gutta percha cone looks short on the film. The line on the left is the film. When in fact, it's actually long. So where is the radiographic apex? It's not the anatomical apex, and it's not where the electronic apex locator reads apex either. The actual apex would be at the narrowest point of the root canal. And the only way that you can find that narrow point is by measuring all the way to the apex, then subtract one millimeter from what your electronic apex locator tells you. Because what you're actually reading is the length of the canal all the way to that narrowest point. And that's not going to be accurate with most of our situations. I can't overemphasize how important it is to trust your electronic apex locator. Remember that the file has to go just a little bit beyond the apex before it's going to truly read apex. So no matter what brand apex locator you use, always, always make certain that you measure from the apical reading and subtract one millimeter. Now I use the electronic apex locator made by Miltex, and those of you who are trying to read the numbers on my credit card there, uh, I blurred them out purposely so you can't see what they really mean. The Mark 7 is actually the unit that I use, but let me show you how the Mark 6 works. The nice part about this small apex locator is you can pin it directly to the patient's bib, and then you can easily see the readings as you go through the various measurements. As you push the file down the canal, uh, lights come on, and when you finally get to the apex, then you take that measurement, grab the file with a hemostat, pull it out, and subtract one millimeter. There should be a warning printed right on the apex locator that says subtract one millimeter from this point, but of course there isn't. Now the apex locator that I use other than the Mark 6 is the Mark 7. And let me tell you just a little bit about the Mark 7 apex locator. The biggest advantage of the Mark 7 apex locator is it uses standard AA batteries. So if your battery goes dead, you can just put in a non-rechargeable one or you can use rechargeable batteries in the Mark 7. Well, that's it for another root tip of the week. I'm Dr. Kit Weathers inviting you to register at endorootcamp.com for free videos and special reports you can't get anywhere else. Meanwhile, I will see you at our next Endo Root Camp.